Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a new box. This is one of the ones my mom did. Look, done. How cute is she? Uh, this was by far one of the most destroyed boxes we have ever received. It is really a miracle. Anything is still in here. Um, but it was lined, so that was really the only saving grace we had. So <laughs> let's see what mom had to work with. Here's the liner, thank goodness. Oh, we start with the with the notes and stuff already. I love my mom. All right, let me get a little bit unpacked and let's take a look and see what we have. Well, before we dive into the box, let's talk about it a little bit. This box has been hanging around since January and it's probably a good thing that it has. Uh, this is 14 pounds, fashion, crafting, jewelry, er, right? Um, but look, I paid $16 for it. I paid more in shipping than I did for the box. So out the door, this box is $36.95. Um, you know, because it is only, you know, under $40, we'll have to be surprised how much jewelry we actually pull out of here. But, uh, this is from South Texas, so I went on the Goodwill site the other day just for a you know good uh, you know a laugh. Hello, boxes like this in the 14 pound range. We're talking 10 to like 13, really. Um, so even smaller than this, with big crafting in the title. Our folks, they're going for like 80 dollars and up. Oh, so keep that in mind when we're going through this box. Um, if we had actually paid $80 for this box, plus shipping. Okay, let's get started and see what uh, my mom, oh, in case this is your first time joining us, uh, my mom is helping us out um, to give us the element of surprise for me because I have not seen the story, but to also give you the chance to see the jewelry cleaned up and ready to go. My mom has gone through the box, cleaned it all up, packaged it all up, and this is the first time we're seeing it, but we're also going to get to show it cleaned. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. All right, let me switch. Let me get this out and zoom out the camera a bit, and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing on the top of the box loose were the big old, you know, the, the big bracelets. Every box has to have one. I'm convinced that it is, you know, like some form of law at this point. Uh, this one actually looks uh, in pretty good shape, so that'll be okay. Um, you know, we've had these before. This is usually by BGBC. Um, this one, however, uh, it says passion, but it looks like somebody had a passion for it. It's really worn. So I'm going to toss this in the craft box uh, or the craft bag before uh, we weigh it and check out, you know, how much that is. So that's going to go in craft. Let's see. Again, somebody loved this one. You can see the uh, the copper, the base metal coming through. So that'll go in the craft bag. But here's another here's another bead. Okay, this one is losing beads. Someone had taken the time. I mean, but see, it's losing beads. Oh, I'm so sad. Cute piece. Okay, that's going to go in craft. Oh, okay, this is like boho for sure. Oh, dang it. Okay, this one with the peacock look here it has chunks out of it oh, gosh darn it okay craft <laughs> okay but this bag did say craft so i can't say too much about it nice big clamper wow that is a um uh -huh. okay it's missing rhinestone oh it's missing the big one in the middle too oh okay somebody can easily fix this look at that that is some presents, but it's going to go in the craft bag because it needs some help. These were, even in high school, I had something really, really similar to this. Mine was silver tone. Okay, but look at all that. Okay, now that's, I'm not going to put it on and I won't ever get it off. Um, nice. This one looks like to be in really good shape. Okay, so this one will actually go in the bracelets to be sold. Very nice. And then we have this little person here, this little cutie. Okay, well, it looks, it has kind of a designer look to it, you know, with the metal and then, uh, well, either faux or real. Oh, it has wear. <laughs> the bracelet. Okay. Um, Q 
cute. I think it still has some life in it. I won't be able to sell it because it does have wear and I don't like to sell stuff like that. So this will go in the craft bag. Okay, all right. So let's move on to some of the bags. Okay, clearly this is kid jewelry. Um, I like when she pulls that out because you know, I'm not gonna put that in the craft bag or anything. Is this kid jewelry? Let's see. Oh, no, no. Okay, this is like that, uh, the last one we had where all of these kind of pieces have that same look like maybe uh, like a Sunday school and they all have uh, like what would Jesus do and that kind of um, sentiment on them. So we had one of these before where I think it was like a whole Sunday school class. You know, it's like nobody took their stuff home for whatever reason. Not sure why. Okay, these look like standard bangles. Yeah, uh, yeah, these are pretty standard. Just regular bangles. And if anybody's looking for bangles, I have entire gallon size bags filled with these things right now. Okay, these are bracelets. Okay, plastic, plastic. These feel like glass. Cute little pearl, and those feel like glass. Those are cute. Okay, I saw another one of these. Okay, what well, are these matchy matchy, or what are these? Mm, not matchy matchy, but cute. Okay. These have like little plastic domes, like acrylic domes. Cute. Okay, I'll, these are lightweight and fun. Look, they just look like they're sealed. And they had taken a picture and put it under the glass. That's cute. Those are cute. And what else do we have in here? Peace. That's cute, too. Uh, cat's eye. Nice peachy color. Really enjoy that one. Uh, this is heavier. These have some glass beads. Little cross. Uh, we have a little lobster claw. Okay, this one again has some glass beads. Cute little square one right here. Look at that. Um, some seed beads. Also a little stretch. Also, uh, this one's a religious tone to it, but pretty glass beads. This one has kind of a mixture. So we have some metallic beads. That feels like an actual... Yeah, both of these do. They, they might actually be some cloisonne. I'll have to get my loop and take a look. Okay. This one has a cute little lock and key. I don't see a mark or hang tag, so that one's cute. What else do we have in here? Okay, lightweight. Pearl stretch. This is a heavier one, so we've got some glass pearls here. Those are nice. Uh, oh, little seahorses. Aren't those cute? Alright, so then we have uh, these tiny little charms with the little seahorse uh, charms on it, and these, hmm, now they feel like glass. We have these cute little striped beads, and we have one more in here. So we have a fold over class fashion, okay, and oh, some cat's eye effect here. Very nice. All right, mixed bag up, single earrings. All right, let's take a look and see if we have anything like, ooh, ah, ah, that's cute. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, that'll make something crafty, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's a cookie. How cute is that? Oh, there's a clip on. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, 
Uh, oh, looks like maybe some unikite and carnelian. Wow, that's too bad for that. And looks like we've got some fashion stuff in here. All right, well, that's not too, too many for the craft earrings. Well, you know, single earrings. All right, matched earrings, so let's see. I see one on a card already. 396. Those are some big hoops. This is crystal collection made with Swarovski crystal. 999. Well, providing these are the pieces that actually go with that. Okay, we only have a couple other pair here. Oh, these are lever back. Those are cute. Kind of delicate, but you know, some articulation going on there. Oh, these have wear. That's too bad. All right, well, the lever backs here have a bunch of wear, but this part is actually a nice shape. So I think these will also end up in our craft bag. I don't know well, these look actually in pretty good shape I don't think they're missing anything are they I'm looking hang on I'm just these beads here they have a little more movement than I think they probably should I think we are missing a bead on the one it looks like we are yeah, it looks like we've got a space. Okay, so I will probably take these for the beads. But that's not bad. These are kind of cool looking. Okay, so that's a couple pair. Let's move that over there. And then we have, you know, I love her so much. She makes these little... Okay, so these are all the little bits for the backs of the earrings. How oh, cute. I love her so much. And then she makes these out of post-its to keep the earrings. I love this woman so much. And we had two ladies who were so generous and sent packages to my mom with supplies for her to do the boxes. How cool is that? It was so cute. Addressed to Angela Irene's mom. Totally adorable. All right, um, we have fashion. These feel like um, plastic. And then uh, I had something very similar to those in the 80s. Let's see, what's this next one here? These feel like dyed shell. Cute little, they look like little roses with a little stone in the middle. Well, a little rhinestone in the middle. And oh, mm, little glass. Little glass beads, those are cute. Look how tiny. But enough look that you'd go, hey. Okay, and then you go the opposite direction. These are huge and ugh, paint gone. Okay, so that's gonna end up in our craft. Look at this. Wow, that is boho-esque. So we have lots of dyed shell and a lot of movement. Looks like each one has three strands coming down. Nice. And wow, look at how sparkly those are. Nice. Okay. Oh, they're getting bigger. Look at these ones. And these have a nice shimmer to them. But certainly these look like, you know, the um, they, they go with those fashion necklaces. Let's see. Wow. Those are big. Okay, have some big and bold looks for sure. Okay, same with these, those have a nice look to them. Uh, you know, they are larger, but because of the negative space, you know, so that your skin color and your hair color will come through these, these won't seem anywhere near this large. And these look, um, wow, somebody put a lot of time into these. These are individually done little faux pearls and acrylic. 
Nice. Okay, let's see this one. Let's see one. These two. There we go. Wow, these are Rivoli. Those are pretty. This nice gold color. That nice champagne. And these are glass beads too. Nice. A lot going on here. So we have these dainty little black ones. These are blue and black acrylic. And then all of this little silver kind of look going on here with these faux pearls. Wow, black seemed to be a look in this box. Look at these. Glass, glass, acrylic. Okay, so we've got glass, glass, and acrylic. Very similar look here. Pretty beads though. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're down to the nitty gritty here. All right, so we have some dyed shell, acrylic. Aren't these cute? You know, this would be so, so fun with a, like a little casual outfit. Wow, that'll give you a lot, a lot of nice little, just a nice little sparkle of color there. Oh, this one's in the bottom of the bag. Hang on. Let's put it back on here. Hold on. And up oh, that one's in the bag too. All right, so we have these little black ones. Okay, well these are. These look like almost like a confetti lucite sort of action going on there. Nice. And then these are a cat's eye bead and some acrylic beads. Wow. All right, well, let's move into the next bag. Okay, these look like they're gonna be fashion. These are lightweight pearls, but in a lot of different colors. I mean, some neutral and some ivory. I think that is a gorgeous color. Wow, this is long. All right, here we go. Look at all of these cool, funky beads. All acrylic. Look at that color. I think that is super fun. Okay, how's this one go? Let's see. Oh, multi strand. Ooh, but like a choker. Whoa, okay. So here, let's pull it through. Here's the first strand. Look at this. Wow, that's a little one. And then it continues on to all the different layers. Cool. Really pretty. Lightweight. I like a rosary style necklace. Uh, it does not have the station, so this one's uh, just kind of in that style. Lighter weight, again, great for summer. And then this one. Oh, this is glass. Dainty. Really pretty with the little drop here. Uh, these are faceted, so you have a lot of nice sparkle. Okay, the next one I'm grabbing, she did her little patented... Uh, she takes a... Um, Post-it note kind of folds it over to try to keep them separated because oh yeah yeah the smaller things man oh man they do quite a number on the tangle of shame okay what is going on there we go okay well this is quite interesting all right we have the silver tone up here and we have some glass beads metallic beads. These are some nice enamel beads in that really eye-popping red. Wow, I really like that one. That's cool. I have to keep these. I'll put them back on there for now. These look like 
like a gray cat's eye. It's a, okay, multi-strand. Oh, aren't those gorgeous. These are acrylic, but look at that play of color in these beads. Wow. Okay, if you are not a fan of this particular style, you know, boy, is it worth it to take this thing apart. I know some of you really, really hate that, but, you know, if you have a vision that you could create something magical with these, why wouldn't you take it apart? It's gorgeous as it is. I, I mean, I like it the way it is. But if it's not your cup of tea, then look at everything you could make with these beads. Wow. Okay, I like that one. Gorgeous. And if I haven't said it yet, good grief, I love my mom. You know, I, you know, if anybody has taken apart one of these boxes, you know what a pain in the absolute patootie it is to get some of these things apart. I mean, oi. And the cleaning, more oi. Okay, multi-strand. We have kind of that black rhodium look on the chain, the black chain. And then look at these. These are glass. Tons of faceting. Look at that purple. Oh, nice. That is nice. Love that. How cute is she with this? Oh my gosh. I love her so much. Ooh. Oh, stretch. Okay, well this is going to be like a choker. These look like metallic. They feel, they feel cool. I'm going to say glass. Gorgeous. It is stretch. So you could wear that like a choker. You could probably double it up. Wear it as a bracelet or an anklet. Like that too. Especially with uh, some high heat. Oh, oh. I don't even have to take this thing apart and to know this is gorgeous. Oh, this is stunning. Okay, these beads have my attention right off the bat. Oh, and it's longer. Oh, I'll be able to wear this. Every time I say that, I get the very first email is, you know that necklace you like? Can I buy it? <laughs> Because, you know, we all have, we all seem to have a love for these glass beads. Look at, how do you not, right? Look at these champagne color beads. It is double strand and it has kind of like, like an asymmetrical sort of design going on. I know some of you are really not a fan of that. Uh, but look, look at these beads. Oh man, oh man. Okay. So digging that one. That one certainly has my number. Oh, I love that. Love it. Okay, this is heavier too. Mm. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right, here we go. I got it. Okay, another longer one. And more of these beautiful glass beads. And then look at these ones down here. Okay, tell me that this would not be a fabulous one to wear in the evening. Mmm, loving that. Or, or our power suit in a business meeting. Yeah, yeah, I think that would go great too. Okay, what is going on here? <laughs> I think my light has had it today. It's like, you know what, let's just take a nap. Does this have an end? Let's see. No, I think this is, I mean, you really, you, come on, you don't need a clasp with something this long. Look at this necklace. Wow. You have these beautiful, almost like a little bit of a London blue station. You have different chains. These have that nice mirror effect going on. Look how long this is. Okay, it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes. Look at that color. That, you know what, this group here, that was wowzer and a half. Okay, this next bag has more of 
the little individual spacers. How cute is this? I love this. Well, this looks like very interesting. A nice long fashion chain. Then we have all the business going on down here. Uh, acrylic, nice shapes, a lot of nice sparkle going on here. Okay, that's nice fashion. What's going? Oh, okay, this is the, the hook. Oh, that's cool. All right, so the pendant is an oversized fashion or engagement ring. Look at that. How cool is that? Could you imagine? Wouldn't that be... Oh, mm -hmm. um, on a very decent chain. Very cool. I can say we haven't seen anything like that. This looks like a big fashion chain. Uh, it has a decent weight to it. It's not overly heavy. Like a double Rolo almost. That's cool. Let's see what else we've got here. How cute is this? I just love this. This has a really interesting lobster fun. Boy, is this thing. Trying to be very unruly. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Looks like we have all different color amount of cat's eye fashion beads. Nice heavy silver uh, tone mounting here. Nice and uh, <clears throat> sturdy, that is for sure. Okay, let's see if this is a longer one or is it a shorter one? We shall find out momentarily. Oh, now I've probably done it. Here we go. Let's see if I can get it this way. Okay, so it does need... Okay, yeah, I've done a little detangling. Okay. Silver tones. We have these. These will be up more towards the uh, collarbone. Well, a little farther down the collarbone. And then multiple chains down below varying lengths. That's pretty. That'd be nice for everyday wear. You could dress that up. Okay, and this is the last one in this group. Oh, I hear it already. This one has some nice clank ability. Oh, and it's long too. Look at this. So it looks like we have another like Rolo style. And then we have some that have like that stardust look to them and others that are just that mirrored finish. Okay, now this is just full on fun. But listen. Oh, clankability. That was a great little bag. Okay, let's grab the bigger. Looks like they have a little bit bigger pieces. these out. Oh, I like this. It's acrylic, but these beads have so much fastening. This looks like, this looks like a disco ball. Love that. Okay. Oh, okay. This one is not plastic. All right. This one is, has almost that, you know, it doesn't really have, oh, you know, the, uh, AB coating, but it has so much faceting, it sort of looks that way. That is so cool. Okay, now these are glass. This is heavy. Look at this green. Wow, is this per Man, look at these. Okay, these are big pieces of glass. Perfect for this time of year for summer. My word, I think that would be just absolutely perfect for this time of year. Okay, this one. 
Okay, multi-strand. These are acrylic again. This has like that faux rose quartz. Nice. Those are those are really dainty. Okay, this one's not dainty. Okay, that really nice dainty. Great with a white t-shirt and jeans. Seriously. <laughs> okay, this is like an omen. This box needs to wrap up, right? Okay. Okay, these are glass. Nice little silver tone toggle. These are glass. Let's flip these over so everything is facing the right way so you get the full effect. Alright, so we have all these beautiful glass beads. And then look at the rhinestones. Wow, that is quite a piece. This is a really nice hefty piece here between all of the glass beads, the nice findings, all the rhinestones, and the, this is heavy. That right there is hefty. So nice. Very nice. And we have one more piece. Oh, these are glass too. Okay, oh, I think I I think I grabbed it wrong. Hold on. Oh, it's triple strand on the bottom. Okay, so we have these gorgeous multicolor seed beads. And then look at all of these beads here. So you have the four strands down here. And these are all beautiful pieces of glass. Ay, 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 with the light today. I'm not even going to edit it out. It, it's just showing how, how much I'm struggling to do with this light. But look at all the different shapes. Wow, that's gorgeous. This was a great bag, too. And from the outside, this one looks like boho. All right, let's take a look. Wow, there's some big ones in here. Okay, I, uh, I hate that. Um, but almost all of these, like Kukui shell or Kukui nut uh, necklaces, come with the ribbon. This one has the corn and the tiny shells and uh, the white, both in the white and this kind of greeny gray color. Uh, you know, a lot of people do very well with selling those. Okay, hang on, I'm making a mess. Holy cow, is that long? Okay, well, this one is a hanger owner, so let's let's do this one. And these are kind of like thin metal, kind of aluminum-y. Clankability. Okay. This one has some beautiful little seed beads. Look at this color. Wow. And it looks like we have a shell pendant and a starfish. But these are really pretty. Someone put a lot of, a lot of nice effort into that one. Okay, here this is the one that I pulled out that is so long. Wait till you see how long this is. Okay, hold on. Let me get it from the end here. My gosh. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna have to measure this. Is, this is insanity. Okay, here we go. Ready? And look at the size of these. These are big wooden beads. Look at all the coloring. And these, these are glass. <laughs> look and, and look and here we come. And hang on. And we're still going. I kid you not. Hold on. Okay, and here you think, oh, this might be the No, this is not the end. That's the end. So, look, oh my gosh, look at this. Let's pile it. Okay, now it's hooking everything here. Look at this. Look at the size of this one necklace. Wow. Okay, a lot of nice wooden beads. They look like hand painted. These, however, for me, are the star of the show. Look at all of these glass beads. Uh, I know what what I'd like to do with that. Okay. Oh, this is really pretty. Looks like someone did 
really nice job with all of the shells. Those are, that is pretty. Very nice. Oh, pink dyed shell. Look at these tiny shells. That's a lot of work to deal with all of that. Wow. Pretty color too. Okay, and for those of you who like a good collar, wow. Look at all the blue here. Again, these feel like glass. So you have beautiful seed beads, silver toned. Those are glass in the middle of the big ones. And it's, you know, like one of the memory bracelets, but in collar form. Wow. I don't think we've had one of those. Some wooden beads. Nice bright white. And what box wouldn't be complete without a gorgeous shell necklace? All right, I've come to the part of the box with the two things of press and seal. So I'm going to go ahead and open these off camera because I tell you what, these uh, these seal. I'm not kidding. If you haven't first, if you haven't purchased press and seal, you should. <laughs> Well, the press and seal was certainly hanging on some interesting pieces. Look, how cute is this owl? Again, spirit animal, right? I mean, come on now. I love the rhinestones for the eyes. And then it looks like a little bit of an older style locket. Uh, it does have Disney on the back. We've got Tinkerbell on the front. This cute little penguin. Uh, this just looks like a piece of mother of pearl on a triangle. We have a piece of shell and a little tassel. And then this one has a little piece of leather and it's stamped free. We have a key and then we have this tiny little elephant. And this next group too. This one has three dainty little uh, hearts. We have rose gold, silver tone, and gold tone. Really, really pretty. This one too, this one has some absolute fabulous rhinestones and then some form of black stone um you know rhinestones this cute little branch here letter b this looks like it could be michael kors i mean nice construction really really pretty and this one here it has enough of extender that if you wanted this to be a choker if you had a really small neck like the mist does i have a feeling this is more of like maybe uh, like boot jewelry because it has that length it just has that longer length but really pretty I mean you could certainly wrap it twice make it a bracelet a lot of possibilities here okay and then we ended up with three pieces in there that have quite a bit of wear and so these are gonna end up in the craft bag you know we're still gonna weigh that and we had some beautiful pieces look at this one here it has that muted gold and these gorgeous candlelight and briolette glass pieces. Just very subtle, so pretty. And this one, let's see if I can get this to turn around because it doesn't want to. It still doesn't want to. All right, here we go. Gold tone. Also, some glass beads. And then it has this little drop with the rhinestone and then two more little glass beads. So again, you know, this one and this one, really, I mean, if you are more of a neutral girl, uh, those two would be gorgeous. Okay, and then there's this one. This is so prom or fancy evening out. So you have, you know, choker length, but you could wear it a little longer because you do have the extender. And then it goes all the way down. So this would certainly be in the business end of things here. Um, you know where it draws your eyes, right? You know, right where the goods are. So there's that one. And those are prong set. I mean, this is not, um, you know, really shoddy work here. That's some gorgeousness going on right there. These ones are also prong set. Again, you know, we're looking at collar length here. And the basket setting here for these pink rhinestones. And then there is one earring, which is so sad. But I think you could 
because one is longer than the other. You could shorten it up, take this apart, and then make two single, you know, two single drop earrings, you know, like from here down. I think that would be gorgeous. Seriously. <laughs> so that was what was in press and sale. So let's move on. Okay, next one. Two watches. Okay, this is like Bugs Bunny and Taz. 1994. Has a little bit of a bubble dome here. A little scratching. Looks like somebody enjoyed that. Oh, somebody really enjoyed this. Okay. This one has like Mother Pearl. And then the, like the Melifiori style of glass here. Okay, the back says Venice. It says glass, mod, original, marina. Okay, unfortunately the band is really worn. The face has some scratches. Not too bad though. I mean, that is still gorgeous. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, Dora the Explorer. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen her in ages. Charming Charlie. Um, band isn't too, too bad. Face is beautiful. Okay, and the last one. Betsy Johnson. Wow, is this thing worn? Um, we have scratching. The finish is coming off, but it's still cool that it has you know her tiger print in there. The different color hands. Just too bad this thing is pretty destroyed. That's probably why it's in the box. This one is, I think, very savable. And I think you could take this somewhere, have a new band put on it. I think that's worth looking into because that is full on gorgeous. Okay, we are coming down to the home stretch here. Okay, it feels like new. Faith Works Inspirational Bracelet. What would Jesus do? You've got to be kidding me, this light. Ay, ay, ay. What would Jesus do? Still wrapped. Cool. Something else wrapped. Gift for you. Dear customer, thank you for your purchase. Oh, okay. So this looks like a, and for a review. Okay, well that's cool. Looks like a silver tone, a really long necklace. Alright, oh, well that's kind of cool, it's still new, yeah. It looks like we're going to have some friends, that's a little bit cool. It looks like a bolo. Okay, so we have a bolo and this is like an acrylic piece. Looks very usable. Looks like we have a carved flower. Looks like really you could wear it either with the petal side or the plain side because the back side looks just as beautiful. Let's see what else we have? Oh, we have the earrings. Okay, multi-strand, and then they have the beads that are you know kind of clamping the design together. And this gorgeous rose. We have the earrings. Oh, I put them. They're a little far for me to reach, but with the earrings still to match that. Nice. That's always a fun little find. And we have two more in this bag. Okay, we have a, feels like acrylic, like someone had made this in, you know, either part of a kid or part of a class. And the yin yang sign. 
Very nice. Well, I'm not so crazy about the cord, but pendant, but it's wrapped in a dragon. There's the dragon's head up here. Looks fashion-y. Very nice. Okay, we have one last bag. This one says marked and question mark. These stones look like they are set in the cross. And I see press and seal. Okay, I'm going to undo the press and seal pieces. I'll get these all out and let's go through them. Okay, and in the press and seal was this acrylic heart and it had BFF. This one had Claire's, and look at that tiny bow. That is precious. This one had Claire's, and this is such a cute ballerina. This one doesn't have a tag, but it has the sweetest little rhinestone. Talk about, you know, nice little jewelry to start your, you know, your child off with. Uh, this one, I think this one was Claire's as well. No, this one's arrow. And we have a little medallion, a little prong set rhinestone, a little heart, a little tiny tassel. And then this one was Panama Jack. And we have a four strand silver tone bracelet. Pretty cool looking right there. up this box. I wanted to show you the craft. Um, unfortunately, this is five pounds and seven and seven eighths ounces of craft. But, you know, we have a couple of watches. We have a couple of really nice rhinestone pieces in here. We have some shell. And we have a couple of bracelets from the beginning that uh, didn't look so great. We tossed them in. So, you know, there's quite a little bit going on for craft, but somebody will make something gorgeous. And we're on the home stretch. This is the last of the box. This would be a pendant, necklace, and earrings. They are marked, this one doesn't want to go. They're marked Avon. They're in pretty good shape. And this necklace is ironically by Claire's. You know, they are really stepping up their quality. All right, then we had this one multi-strand. It's marked NY. We have some really pretty pink acrylic beads, some acrylic crackle beads, some nice gold tone beads. Really pretty. Okay, this one is definitely a nice piece. It is marked 1946. It has this really nice rose gold tone. Pretty long. And then we have the pink faux gems, the rhinestones, gorgeous little medallion here with more rhinestones, and then the tassel. It has a nice quality feel to it. And we had a few stud earrings. Uh, this one is marked sterling. Looks like we have maybe some aventurine and carnelian. The rest are just studs. Then we had the one that she had marked. It is sterling, and these are so tiny, but they are, you know, open in the back. They look very nice. Uh, they don't look like rhinestones, but they're really hard to tell. The diamond tester says, yes, they're diamonds, but I could be hitting metal. I mean, these are just dinky dinky. Then there was this one. Let me put this one here because you're not going to see it. You'll lose it. This is so tiny. Okay, we have a sterling 925 chain. The heart is marked sterling and it is also encrusted uh, open back with each stone. These also look like diamonds. Again, they test for diamonds, uh, but again, they are so small. I'd really have to take them to be absolutely sure to a jeweler, but nice piece. But the surprise is this one here. 
this tiny, what I believe is an infant bracelet. It is marked right here. And it's marked Avery with copyright symbol and then Sterling. That's S-T-E-R. So I believe this is a vintage James Avery engravable infant bracelet. We're going to have to look closer into this, but look how tiny. But this is an engravable piece here. So maybe with the child's initials, you could have engraved it. But that truly is a surprise and a half. All right, gang, that was the box that mom unpacked and cleaned for us. I thought that had some nice surprises. I mean, definitely these two. Appreciate you liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Till next time, be safe, take care. We'll see you soon.